So like we said yesterday, we are going to mark out this property so we know exactly where to go. But check out that gnarly black top. Yeah. That yeah. is. You getting her? Getting her. I'm gonna come on the other side of you. Getting her while the getting is good. We should probably put one down there, babe. Yeah. Alright guys, so the wind's super crazy out here once again. And I got my hair up, so it's not all in my face. Right? <laughs> anyway, so this is by far the easiest way to put a ton of plow markers in. We did a video on this back at the beginning of the year, but uh, I wanted to come over here and get this lot done this morning, and then I gotta head over to my dental procedure and uh, possibly get my uh, dental work done. So, we're gonna run through this real quick. This blacktop's pretty wide. Might be a little harder to find. Yeah, I'm not gonna find that one. So, what we'll do, it's back in there pretty good. I can keep a pretty straight line off of those. And obviously we're not going to go towards the sign, so we'll just let that one go. See, if you guys can't tell the difference, listen. Let TQ come in here closer. So you can hear the pavement, the blacktop. No banging. I like those gloves, babe. Yeah, big shout out to Shannon for uh, sending me these gloves yesterday. They were unexpected, came in the mail, and even used my new name. <laughs> Sir Spartacus. Sir Spartacus, <laughs> this is something, I don't even remember what I put on Instagram, but big shout out to Shannon, thank you. That was a reference to uh, TQ always getting mail sent to the P.O. box, and it says TQ, Trimmer Queen. <laughs> He's just jealous. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> What you don't know is that some of the packages I self-name myself. <laughs> so send the order to Trimmer Queen. Oh. Lost it. Well, this isn't. Oh, that's not the original drill. No, this isn't the one I usually use. I know some of you were asking, are we gonna be taking the lawn care and landscaping over for this location? As of right now, that's all up in the air. It's being discussed. Uh, basically in this big facility, there's multiple units uh, that are being rented out, leased, uh, bought uh, by multiple different companies. So once we figure that all out, we'll let you know. I'm hoping we do. So if 
you can tell, I went through the yard there the other day. Yeah, you did. Didn't really cause much damage, just a little bit. All these are reference points, guys, to minimize damage. So if you look here, that's damage caused by me. All I had to reference off of was the satellite view that we pulled up on the element software. So I couldn't tell exactly how far this lot went across. I actually missed quite a bit of it here that you can see. But when I was going across, I went into the yard about 10 feet. So this is where plow markers come in and are a lifesaver because in the summertime, I'll have to come back over here and put that sod back into those holes, fix a few little spots. So we try to minimize that whenever uh, we can. This thing's melting off. Look how wet it is. Yeah, this is exactly what we need. Guys, it's probably in the 40s here today. It's gorgeous. Sun's out, stuff's melting. Like, we got puddles. Yes. This can lead to a ton of flooding, though. So we got a little bit of damage here. Didn't realize where the lot ended. So we need to uh, have a reference point right here. It says this is the end, Sean. Sometimes you gotta search for a good spot, guys. Right there's a good one. And I know some of you, uh, some of you will be worried about hitting like water lines and stuff. You can ask the customer, like if you look here, there's gas lines right here. The thing is though, guys, is these are gas lines, water lines and everything should be buried deep enough. We're only going in maybe four to five inches at most. So none of that stuff, especially here in Ohio, should be very shallow, if you know what I'm saying. Always ask the customer though. One more out here on the end, we'll be good to go. Do do do. You might want to go out and around. Yeah, gonna walk around here. Let's get a real up close shot. Real up close, up close and personal. All right. So here's the blacktop end. Here's where the grass kind of starts. Sometimes this a little bit of this will be hidden under here. So just come over a little bit. There you go. I like to see the blue skies. Look how yeah. pretty. Look at that. Nice and shiny, brand spanking new. <laughs> Wanted to make this quick video. I'm actually getting ready to go in to get my dental surgery done. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, they haven't said 100%. They still have to look in there to make sure they can do it today. Uh, if not, we're going to have to schedule to go back. Uh, but as of right now, uh, everything's pointing towards we're going to get this surgery done today. This is just one part. Unfortunately, it's just one part uh, to a three-part process, I guess you could say. So long story short, whenever uh, I think I was 11 or 12 years old, uh, myself and my mom were driving through the city here and a guy ran a red light and hit us I mean, it was a, a hard car accident guys. I actually I had my seatbelt on at the time But when I went forward my head hit the windshield and uh, I don't know if my seat was really far forward I don't know if the seatbelt failed or whatever. This was like an old-school car back in the day uh, So long story short, I hit the windshield. I had this huge knot on the side of my head Probably uh, made me lose a few brain cells, but you know what we can spare a few here and there I guess right Anyways, it shattered the uh, teeth on the right side of my mouth in the back, my molars. Well, if you don't know, those teeth don't grow back. You only get like one good set of those bad boys. So uh, with that being said, uh, that process started, or that accident started showing face again about a year and a half ago. And uh, it wasn't really painful. 
uh, what just happened is the piece that they fixed in there came off. So uh, we had it scheduled to get a crown done, which uh, our dental is not covered under our insurance. So we pay out of pocket for dental and vision. Just the way we do it, we find that we can generally accommodate these things for a fairly, fairly decent price. I know a lot of you always ask about what we do for insurance and this and that. We do have health insurance. Uh, we just don't pay for the dental side of it and the vision side of it. And I think like hearing or something like that, uh, we pay for those out of pocket. And it's worked really well for us. Well, long story short, I went in uh, probably a month ago. I think I shared with you guys here on YouTube and I just got a general cleaning and they're like, hey, you know, we really need to get that taken care of. You need a new crown put on there. Uh, let's get it done. So I'm like, cool. You know, they're like 1600 bucks. We'll get it taken care of. I'm like, awesome, let's do it. So that would be 1600 bucks out of my pocket that I would have to just pay, which is perfectly fine uh, to get a crown done. And we understand that taking that chance, you know, not having dental insurance. Uh, but with that being said, went in yesterday for that scheduled crown to get taken out. Uh, they started going down, removing what they had fixed when I was 12 years old. So you figure I'm 36 now, that thing's been in there 20, what, 24 years? Yeah, 24 years roughly. So they actually removed the uh, silver part in there. And when they removed it here, they discovered that they had covered up a cavity. Well, that cavity had continued to grow underneath of that filling. And basically it was really, really bad, like down into the gum line. So with a crown, they generally put the, the new crown on top of the, the bottom tooth structure in the gum line. But you have to have something there, you know, a, a good amount of your remaining tooth there to be able to put that crown on top of. So if you, if you can uh, imagine a king or queen's crown it sits on top of your head, just imagine my head is half the tooth. So they're just going to put the top of the crown back on. Well, when they went in there, they discovered that cavity underneath of the old filling when they removed the silver and uh or lead whatever it is i don't even know but uh they found that under there and found that it had really went deep into the root and uh or deep down into my gum line so they had to stop the procedure literally three quarters of the way through they set me up and they're like yo bro this ain't gonna work we need to talk and i'm like okay this is, this isn't good now you gotta remember three quarters of my tooth's gone now it's i mean it's gone so i'm sitting there with this big old gap here on the side of my jaw and uh they're like hey this tooth needs to come out you uh you got a few different options they could do what they called a bridge where they could actually put a crown from my back tooth to the one that's busted to the front one and they said that one would probably last a couple years uh but it's like i don't even remember it was expensive uh not that what i'm getting done today or starting the process of isn't cheap or expensive but uh, long story short, I just said, hey, Dennis, you know, Mr. Dennis, what would you do if you were in my shoes? And he said, you need to have that tooth uh, removed, an implant put in, which an implant is basically like a, uh, a screw. And uh, that screw is hollow so that they can run a, uh, an implant down into your, your new tooth. So that's what I'm practically or supposedly going to get done today uh, my dentist referred me for an emergency surgical procedure so literally i went from yesterday having that done at his office to today i'm going to a surgeon uh with no guarantees he said look i'm gonna look at it i'm hoping i can get you in today we can get it taken care of but this comes with a kicker so if i've never had a dental implant my teeth have always been really good uh so what happens is you go in you get the tooth extracted I'm hoping they can put the implant, which is the screw piece in today, down into my bone. Kill two birds with one stone. If they won't agree to do that, what I have to get done is tooth extracted today, wait four months for that all to heal. It has to be four months. And then I got to go back in and get another surgery done to put that into my jaw, that little screw piece. And then I got to wait four more months to go in and get the actual tooth implant itself molded and put into that spot back here. So this is this could literally be a eight month process or it could be a year process. And that stinks, that sucks. Uh, nobody wants to be without a tooth, uh, you know, for that long. Uh, I've never not had a tooth. Only surgery I've ever had in my mouth was having my wisdom teeth taken out probably 15 years ago when I was a young man. And that stuck, that stunk, you know, that's no fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of procrastinating here. I'll be honest with you. I'm not looking forward to getting this done. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the dentist. Even though I will say where we're going, I believe it's Johnson and Williams or Williams and Johnson. 
These guys are phenomenal. Jackson Township, if you're in the area, go see these guys, man. Third floor, I mean, they're, they're phenomenal. Uh, they're go-getters, they make you feel comfortable, you know. Uh, we all have little things, you know, a little bit of weight, you know, or, you know, we have a pimple or something on our face that we're a little bit uh, shy about or, you know, scared about or, you know, uncomfortable about. But yeah, my teeth were one of them, especially that spot right there. So uh, I, I guess, guys, long story short, uh, take care of your teeth. And uh, mine were taken care of, just I had a car accident. I was going to show you something else here in the garage, but TQ is like waving me on like we got to go. She's sitting in the car. She, she can tell I'm procrastinating. But uh, yeah, I'm going to throw this video. Out. I'm actually probably going to let TQ edit this video. So if you guys would smash the thumbs up button, show her some support and uh, love because she's going to she's going to edit this video out. You want to say hi, TQ? Hi, TQ. <laughs> no, hey, everyone. How's it going? Anyways, guys. Anyways. So, so, yeah. Um, I really don't Let's like it. Let's go. You have to be there 15 minutes early. It's 11.30 in the morning, guys. I got to be there in 15, 17 minutes. Do I really got to go do yeah, this? Let's go. All right. I'll see you guys on the flip side. <laughs> All right, guys. So no surgery today. Tomorrow I have to come back at 1 o'clock and get this bad boy done. I'm actually going to be sedated, put to sleep. And uh main thing they were looking at today was my bone structure in the jaw to make sure the implant is even possible. Uh, they said from the 3D x-ray, which TQ got a picture of, I'll plug it up here. It looks really cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. But they're also looking for the nerve, too, how close the nerve is. Yeah, was. the nerve is like a big issue. So uh, he does say it look, appears to be enough room. So, yeah, we uh, had to pay ahead of time. And I'll just tell you guys right now, out of pocket, four thousand three hundred and nineteen dollars <laughs> good thing that snow month was really good right <laughs> good thing that snow month was really good that's all i got to say i will say though blessings happen in disguise sometimes and uh, i've actually brought it up tq in there i was supposed to have that crown done the day before we went on our florida trip long story short it didn't go right that would have ruined I mean, completely ruined my Florida trip. So it being delayed because we had a snow event the day before we left was a blessing in disguise. So there's always good. God is in control, guys. And uh, yeah, just keep uh, keep hustling, I guess you could say. So just wanted to fill you in with that. I'm, I'm nervous about the surgery. Uh, I'm not nervous about the surgery. I'm nervous about the recovery. I don't like being down and out. Uh, yeah, I just... I don't like being out of my uh, comfort zone, I guess you could say. Yeah. But uh, we'll get through it, right? Absolutely, and I'm here to help you too. I appreciate that. So guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. Keep you out. Peace. Bye.